Welcome to the CDM Uninstaller application video. The CDM Uninstaller is a free application that can be used to selectively remove Windows device drivers from a user system as specified by the device's vendor ID and product ID. First, you must download the application. You can do this from the FTDI website. If you navigate to the support link to the left of the home page, click on it, then click on the utility subheading you will be taken to the utilities homepage. To the bottom of the first column of links, click on CDM Uninstaller. This will take you further down the page to the location of the application download link. Next, click on the download CDM Uninstaller link. The application comes as a zipped executable that needs to be extracted prior to running. You may extract or copy the CDM Uninstaller folder to your desktop or another suitable location on your PC. For this video, we shall copy to the desktop. Note: Before running the application, please disconnect the USB cable of any FTDI devices connected to your PC. Open the CDM Uninstaller folder from the location where you placed it. This application comes as a command-driven application or as a GUI executable, hence the two executable files. It is recommended to run the application with administrator privileges. Right-click on the file. Select Run as Administrator and this will ensure that the program is run with administrator privileges. You should see the following window. With the application open, if you click on the Remove Devices button, an error will present itself asking you to add at least one device. Leave the vendor ID and delete the product ID. Click the Add button and now click Remove Devices. A message box saying the device has been removed from the system should appear. Click OK to remove this. If you try this procedure again, you will encounter a message saying it has failed to remove the devices from the machine. Do not connect your USB serial converter to your PC yet. It is best to reboot the PC at this stage before installing any new drivers. Drivers may be obtained from the drivers link on the left hand side. I am clicking on the D2XX drivers as an example, however D3XX drivers are also available here. To help with installation of drivers, you will find installation guides in the document section of our website. As well as this, the README for the command line version and the GUI version of the tool are available from the download page.